National parks are all around the United States, some large, some small. Our national parks are extremely large areas of land that are home to many different species of plants and animals. These objects of wildlife are very important to the ecosystem, nature, and humans on Earth. Sadly, there is a problem no one realizes is the reason these elements of wildlife in the national parks are in danger. Global warming is a growing issue caused by humans themselves, and instead of slowing down, is growing faster. We live in a period of time when the negative effects of industry and technology on our environment are growing. The large use of fossil fuels and the resulting greenhouse gases are not being seriously addressed by people who are unaware of the consequences such as global warming. As global warming has grown, temperatures in the national parks have grown twice as fast as the rest of the United States, which has hurt many elements of wildlife already and can grow worse if there is no change. Many trees have already been destroyed by a species called the bark beetle, which is spreading faster than we know. Most trees are habitats to many groups of animals, and losing them from wildfires and other disasters can affect the animals' lives. To get a new perspective of this spreading issue, I took a trip to JPL to have an interview with a specialist to ask some important questions. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Hi, nice to meet you, Izzy. Uh, my name is Marco Zwongo, and I'm the postdoc researcher here at JPL. Uh, and I work a lot with uh, the effects on climate change and land use change in tropical ecosystems. Okay, well, I'm going to be asking you some questions today for my uh, eighth grade capstone project. Uh, my topic is global warming affecting national parks around the United States. Excellent. So, yeah. Currently, humans create many engineering products that might be a part of global warming. How do you think humans can help slow down these rises in temperature? Uh, I think nowadays we are evolving in many technologies that help to reduce our emissions. Uh, there, there are uh, emissions from so many activities that we have in our day-to-day. -day. Like governments have to have incentives to increase the clean energy versus the uh, old style. Mm -hmm. Also, people uh, can take a lot of action. If any person does a little bit trying to reduce, for example, uh, how much they drive, how much they eat meat, which is a major cause of uh, greenhouse emissions too, uh, this is small steps from anyone, not only the government, not only the technology development, but it's a, uh, a problem that affects everyone's life. It's our planet, so everyone has to contribute a little bit. My capstone project focuses on global warming affecting national parks around the United States and the wildlife in those parks. What are your thoughts on this statement? Temperatures in national parks around the U.S. could increase by 9 degrees Celsius by 2100 if no changes are made. I mean, if the emissions continue to be so high, some of the national parks may experience an uh, increase of several degrees by the end of the, the century. It's, it's important also to, to think that not all national parks are going to respond the same way. Uh, some of these national parks that will experience the most warming are exactly the national parks that are in the Arctic region. If you lose this ice, all of a sudden you have the warming from the, the global warming, plus the warming that, uh, of replacing a bright surface with a dark surface that absorbs much more heat. So this is why some of these parks can actually increase the temperature even more. I did some research on Yellowstone National Park where I found much information about a single species called a bark beetle. A bark beetle is an insect usually dying in the winter from the lower temperatures in the latitude of the atmosphere. They take the moisture from trees and dry them out which kills them. Global warming has created the beetle species to spread due to the abnormally warm temperatures. How will global warming as well as the spread of bark beetles throughout Yellowstone and the U.S. hurt the wildlife and animals' lives in larger ways? Other bark beetle species are in fact spreading uh, across other parts of the United States. The fact that our winters are no longer as cold as they used to be, that actually favors the survivorship and the hatching uh, at earlier times of the spring for many of these species. So, I mean, also change, uh, have a, a major disturbance in uh, affecting one species whether it's a plant, a fungi, or animal species in the national park. So, for example, in the case of trees, uh, if you lose these trees, you are going to lose an important food source. Many of the conifers, actually, they have very uh, 
uh, nutritious and highly energetic uh, seeds that uh, many animals use like during certain parts of the, the year. If they lose this important source of food, they are going to, to go away. And that can also uh, have a cascading effect to all other species that feed on the species that eat the, the, the seed. Maybe they, they won't die, but they may need to move somewhere else. And that can create a whole uh, sort of new problems. Do you think humans need to take action now and attempt to stop things such as greenhouse gases that may slow global warming down? Or do you think this problem isn't large enough for us to address right now? If anything, we are already kind of late, a few decades at least, yeah. because we know the problem for a long time. And the fact that we're not doing any major uh, change to reduce, many countries are actually doing some, some things, but it's not sufficient right now. We have so much uh, extra carbon dioxide in the, in the air that that will equilibrate the temperature at a higher degree than what it was uh, hundreds of years ago. These emissions that are really high uh, in general uh, around the world uh, are already uh, causing the problem and as lo the longer that we take uh, to, to start addressing this, the larger the problem is going to be. So. Overall, wildlife in national parks is being harshly affected and hardly anyone is taking any action towards this issue. Bigger problems have come about such as wildfires and bark beetle breakouts that have hurt national parks to a larger extent. Animals and plants are losing their habitats each day and some are watching their own kind disappear. Most humans do not care to address this issue because they do not understand how important these elements of wildlife are to the planet and to themselves. Global warming will continue to spread throughout national parks and will not be slowing down until humans make a change. To help stop global warming, we need to spread the word and help do small things to reduce our emissions. If all of us make small changes in the way we use extra fuels and emissions in our home, car, and other forms of technology, we can save national parks as well as hundreds of animals across the U.S. from global warming.